brushing off the dust for newcomers. Egypt's renowned heritage, the Luxor Temple, dates back to the 14th century BC, and where it will host leaders from China and Egypt on Thursday with a cultural feast. This 3,500-year-old Luxor Temple will soon witness typical cultural performances from Egypt and China, kicking off a year of extensive cultural collaborations between two of the world's oldest under these huge pillars, a stage performance, Thousand Hand Buddhist Sadhava, presented by Chinese artists who were deaf and mute. This will be the first time these young disabled dancers will perform in Egypt, except for one, Chen Chen. When I joined this dance group in 2004, my first dance abroad was in Egypt. I was 15 then. I haven't thought I'd perform it in Egypt again. Cultural exchanges dates back to decades between Egypt and China. The highest level dance performances are always presented, bringing the best dancers from both countries together. I feel like a family because after a second time, first time it was new. But actually, second time looks like a family working together. We understand each other much more. In 2014, President Xi Jinping and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said 2016 would mark the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the nations. To celebrate, they would launch a joint cultural year. The culture year will set a good foundation as the two countries are starting to build a comprehensive strategic partnership, bringing the people closer to the soul. In an established tour, dancers come and go. Chen Chen says it might be the last dance abroad, but the cultural treasures will always be continued through the new and young. Wu Xiong, CCTV, Luxor, Egypt.